We also watched NXT. NXT is still 2.0, Brian, as far as I know. Well, here, listen, everybody. It's possible that this is how it's going to be, okay? But, and again, I don't know this, but what I do know is that they taped two weeks' worth of programming. Why did they tape two weeks' worth of shows? My presumption is that they're spending two weeks rebuilding the set. They're going to tear it down and rebuild it, and it'll be what it is. But, I mean, they literally did their... uh, uh, one-year anniversary, and then threw the logo up. And then the next fucking day, they taped two weeks of show. So it's not like you can you can end on a Tuesday and fucking tear the whole thing down and rebuild it in 12 hours. They had to tape with what they had for the next two weeks. So I think that when they return to being live, it'll be uh, made over. I don't know that for sure, but that's my presumption. So uh, we have a recap it's NXT 2.0, September 20th, 2022, for those of you keeping score. A recap of Solo Psycon winning the North America title last week. And then we cut to an office. I mean, that's all we know at first. But the door opens, and Carmelo walks through and says, You wanted to see me? And he looks, and Solo Psycon's already there. You wanted to see me, too. And he looks at Carmelo. You shot and you missed, bro. But turns out the guy who wants to see them is Shawn Michaels. Who I guess is the commissioner of NXT now. But he explains Solo was not even supposed to be in the match last week. In fact, he was not even a candidate for the fans to vote for on who would face Carmelo Hayes. Therefore, he needs Solo to hand over that belt. And Solo pauses and he looks down at the belt. And Sean says, I've had to do that. I know it sucks. <laughs> yeah. I laughed oh, yeah, so buddy. hard. Oh, sucks so much more than actually wrestling a match and losing. Passing that belt over. So Sean says, Solo Sokoa, what you did in NXT was staggering. Whether it's Raw or SmackDown, wherever you go, I wish you luck. And Solo leaves. Well, I'll finish this up and then make my point. So Carmelo says, you did the right thing. And puts his hands out waiting for his belt back. And Sean says, not so fast. You try to outsmart the system and you got burned. Anytime you think you're bigger than the business, the business smacks you back. Again, Sean Michaels is saying these words. So Sean announces a five-way ladder match at Halloween Havoc to name a new North American champion. And Carmelo will be one of the contestants. He at least doesn't have to qualify. There'll be other qualifiers going on. But yeah, that's, that's it. And uh, it finished, and I thought, well, what the hell was the point of Solo winning the title last week then? Well, I mean, there's a lot of issues here, one of which is that Sean's entire speech makes no fucking sense. That is an issue. Because after he won the North American title, he then went to SmackDown and defended it as the champion. Mm. So uh, every now and then, and this is, this is actually usually a WWE thing, they're they're like too smart for their own good. And I feel like this is one of those examples where I'm sure they had some in their mind brilliant idea for this thing. Like, oh, you know, we'll uh we'll get the title off Carmelo, but you know, uh Solo can then take it to uh SmackDown, so we'll get the North American title on SmackDown, and then, you know, he'll come back here. And, and he'll be a bigger star as the North American champion. And they can do that uh, press conference with that one fucker. Uh, what's his name? Roman Reigns and uh, uh, Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. And he could be there at the press conference with the North American title, all the fucking MMA fighter. or uh, They'll take pictures of it and shit and put on MMA fighting or whatever. And, and then, you know, we'll strip him. And then it'll set up an awesome ladder match so we can have a great match at a takeover. Okay, those are all like, but it was dumb when you actually did it. It didn't make any sense. No. I don't know why. You were too smart for your own good. You had 8 million ideas that you thought were smart, but when you put all those smart ideas into one big idea, it's a dumb idea. If he was not eligible to compete for the North American title, why was he out there on TV exactly. getting his music played, being announced? The referee fucking rang the bell. The referee counted the pin. How many times have they said, well, the referee's decision is final? Well, now it's not. This was, this was a, they, they overthought everything. 
This is how the show begins, really. Oscar gives a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.